is not impartial. Uh, it is partial. Uh, and that, in my view, uh, goes against what uh, the Gardaí signed up to in, in their oath of allegiance. The Garda Commissioner came here this evening and told the delegates that they should stay out of politics. I'm not happy that we should get into the political arena. The political debate is not a matter for the Garda Shikana. And uh, as I said, and I'm repeating myself, I know now, I am not happy that it's happening and I would urge it to be discontinued. However, the GRA defended its President's comments and his right to make them. Well, I'm disappointed that I didn't get an opportunity to uh, address directly face to face to the Minister the hurt and anger of the members that I represent. Uh, the Minister had an opportunity, in my view, to come here and defend uh, or to robustly reject what I said. He chose not to. That's his problem. Michael O'Boyce also said the government, of which Dermot O'Hearn is a long-serving member, has mismanaged the wealth of this country for more than a decade by allowing the state's assets to be plundered and robbed by bankers and speculators. And Paul joins me now. Paul, we've heard some of the contents there of the President's speech. Why didn't he actually deliver it? Well, and the Minister for Justice was supposed to be here at the conference banquet tonight. Uh, the reason the GRA say why they didn't deliver the speech to him was because he's not here in person. They said they weren't prepared to deliver it to an empty chair. Now, this, the, <laughs> the way that Dermot O'Hearn has dealt with this matter is in marked contrast to his predecessor, Michael McDowell. Uh, the last time the GRA were deemed to have uh, strayed into the political arena. Uh, at that time, when the former GRA president said that the guard of voters would be waiting in the long grass for the PDs, Michael McDowell, who wasn't even GRA, to address the conference, came to the GRA conference, he addressed the media, and then he told the Gardaí, individual members of the Gardaí over dinner, that he would sack them if they behaved in this manner. Now, the GRA the next day apologised for their statements of the previous day. That won't happen in this case. Tonight, the GRA are standing by uh, the sentiments in the speech that wasn't delivered. It has been released to the media, and it's in now in the public domain. And also tonight, there has been some political reaction. Finnegan's Charlie Flanagan says that Dermot O'Hearn's behaviour has once again alienated a sector of public service workers and he's called his behaviour childish. Paul, uh, it's been a highly unusual conference with Gardaí. First they're saying they needed the option to double job to survive financially and later that uh, their financial circumstances left members vulnerable to corruption. Yeah, it certainly is, has been a remarkable conference so far. There's another day of it to go tomorrow, uh, but certainly today, the whole spectre of the, the inability of Gardaí to pay their mortgages, to pay their bills, has hung over this conference and contributed to most of the debate. As you say yourself, there have been two things. First of all, they say they need now to take up part-time jobs as barmen, taxi men, doormen, bouncers in nightclubs, that sort of thing, to be able to pay their bills. And they also say that if they can't meet those bills, there is a risk, and it has been shown internationally, that police forces who aren't paid well are at risk of corruption.